Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your energy reading for July 27th to August 2nd. As always, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, for this reading, I am using a five-card spread. The first two cards represent the past. The third card is the present. The fourth card is future energy, potential future energy. And the fifth card is potential outcome. We'll start with the with the well, first. I'll show you the cards, and then we'll read and I'll read them for you. Um, for the past, um, the, the, we have the Hanged Man and the um, Four of Swords. For the present, we have the Emperor. Future energy, we have the King of Cups, and potential outcome, we have the um, Five of Wands. So our first past card is the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man tends to point to a new perspective. Things being turned on on it, uh, things being you know something being turned on its head, perhaps something drastic. Or it doesn't have to be negative, but something something significant, significant might have happened and just changed your perspective, just turned everything on its head. So um, consider whether there's a past event or past energy that might apply to you with the hanged man. A second past card, Leo, is. The, the um, Four of Swords. Um, the Four of Swords can point to need the need for rest, like a very strong need for rest. Maybe you just need to calm your mind down. You just need to calm your mind down. This is past energy you're bringing into the present moment, remember. So maybe something happened in the past and you're bringing that, you're bringing, you know, worry about that into the future. And you just need to, you just need to take some time to rest and give your mind, you know, give your mind a break and stop overthinking. Okay, so that's the Four of Swords. Our third card, Leo, is the present card, and it is the Emperor. The Emperor is a card of um, reason, logic, um, discipline, and authority. So maybe this is, you know, playing a big part in your own energy right now, or maybe you so you need to have more of this in your life to accomplish what you want to accomplish and do what you want to do. So think about what part this um, emperor energy might have in your life right now, Leo. Potential future energy is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a court card and court cards can represent people or parts of yourself or just energies and situations in your life. This is in the potential future position. Um, so the King of Cups could point to a person in your life. Uh, you, the kings are usually older men. Cups, of course, is emotions. So this will be an older man who um, has something to do with emotion. He has a strong link to emotion in some way. Maybe he has a strong mastery of emotion or he's linked to emotion in your mind or something in, in, in that area. This person could play a part in your life, consider what parts you want them to play and what impact you may or may not want them to have. Um, and the King of Cups could also point to something in your own character too, or just a situation that's very emotional or a situation that calls for a mastery, mastery of emotion in some way. So that's the King of Cups. And in the potential outcome position, we have the, sorry, the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands tends to point to a certain amount of conflict, uh, maybe you know, disagreements, um, just general disagreements. They don't have to be serious, but maybe you'll have to assert yourself in some way, or maybe you'll have to just deal with the energy around you of some kind of conflict. Um, so, you know, you know, you know, be a strong person and think about how you'll deal with that. Again, it's just a potential, potential outcome energy um, that you might have to. Um, to deal with and you know it could be a minor disagreement it could be you're having to assert your own ideas um, you know that, that if you feel your if you feel they're right so in in conclusion we have we started with the hanged man and um, and the need for rest and um, changed pers changed perspectives with the hanged man and the need for rest um, from you know an overactive mind maybe you know and the like, overthinking in, in the past position here, and that's past energy coming into the present moment. In the present moment, we saw the emperor energy with logic and discipline, and maybe you could think about how you need that in your life or how that's acting in your life right now. With the king of cups, we see mastery of emotion. It could be a person. It could be an aspect of yourself. 
and with the outcome we see, you know, you might have to deal with a disagreement or, you know, competing ideas. And perhaps when you, if you, if that does come to pass, you can draw on your, draw on the discipline you gained with the emperor and the new perspectives you gained with the, you gained with the hangman, um, possibly. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Leo. I hope it resonated with you. Please let me know if it did, and please like and subscribe to see my future videos. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.